helpless babe Entered our world, your glory veiled Not to be served, but to serve And welcome to our daily devotions for today, Monday the 28th of March. We begin, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Merciful God, we mean to serve you, but so often we go astray. We intend to do good, but so often we end up doing evil. We strive to work and walk the way of Christ, and yet repeatedly we follow our own inclinations. Take the germ of faith within us 
the seed of genuine commitment and nurture them through your love so that they may grow strong and vigorous despite everything that competes against them, especially during this season of Lent. Grant that through your grace, any weeds that may have crept into our lives may be far outweighed by healthy growth, leading to a bumper harvest, a rich and healthy crop speaking eloquently and powerfully of you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40 Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling. In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Sovereign Lord comes with power and He rules with a mighty arm. See, His reward is with Him and His recompense accompanies Him. He tends His flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in His arms and carries them close to His heart. He gently leads those that have young. Of the Father's love begotten Ere the worlds began to be He is Alpha and Omega that are that have been and that future year shall see Grace by the Holy 
Psalm 107 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those He redeemed from the hand of the foe, those He gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for mankind, for He satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains, because they rebelled against God's commands and despised the plans of the Most High. So he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled, and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for mankind, for He breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Gracious God, it's easy to extol your love when health is good. But when life is overshadowed by pain, and by discomfort, sapping our strength and eroding our happiness. It's much harder to trust in you and to offer our praise. Although for some, such pain is temporary, brought about by illness or injury. We know that for others, wrestling with chronic or terminal conditions, it is an ever-present reality, each day bringing more of the same. Forgive us for forgetting those who live in constant pain, each day blighted by its stranglehold. Give them strength not just to get through, but also still to find joy and fulfilment in life, and help us through expressing our love and concern to also express yours. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us learn how to serve.